you're going to be using a CBL and a, and a calculator. So the first thing you need to do is to connect the CBL and the calculator with the link cable. And then you need to find your pH probe and plug that into channel 1 at the top of the CBL. You need a standard 4 and 7 or 4 and 10 to do the calibration. So the first thing you want to do is to go to programs or apps, wherever you've stored your program, and you want to find a program called ChemBio. So you can either press 3 and enter or arrow down. Once you see the commercial, press enter. Now you have a menu that says set up probes. So what we're going to do here is we're going to tell the CBL and the calculator what probe we have plugged in there. So we're going to press enter to set up probes. And it asks us how many probes we're using and we're using one. So we'll press one and enter. And then it says what kind of probe and we're using a pH probe so we're going to select pH probe. And it says where did you put it? And remember we put it in channel 1 so we're going to press 1 and enter. And what we want to do is we want to perform a new. And you should always perform a new calibration with a pH probe because they don't hold those calibrations very well because it's such a sensitive instrument. So let's perform a new, and so it says let's wait 30 seconds for the electronics to warm up. So we're going to wait 30 seconds and then press enter. What we do next is we take our pH probe from our storage bottle. The bo these are stored in a, a solution so that it protects the probe. The sensitive part is right on the very tip. We're going to leave the cap, and you see there's an O-ring right there. We're going to leave that attached. If it's in the way, we're just going to push it up a little bit. But you leave it there because we're going to return it back to our bottle. So the first thing you do after you take it out is you rinse it. Make sure you get the solution off. And then we're going to put it in a pH of a known buffer that has a pH of 4. Now you don't have to dry it, that drop of water is okay. So put it here. Now watch what happens to your CBL. So you can see that the voltage, and that's what it's reading, is a voltage, is changing. But now it's staying it's constant. When it stays constant, we want to press trigger. Okay, and if you notice on the CBL, it says, enter the reference point. So where it says enter the reference point, since we were using a pH of 4, we want to type in 4 and press enter. So it's saving that number of that voltage and converting it to a pH. Now we're going to rinse our probe again and we're going to place it in a pH of 7. Watch what happens to the voltage. Okay, it starts to drop. Okay, and that's holding steady. And when it holds steady, whoops, it changed again. When it, when it stays steady, then press trigger. When you press trigger, it says enter your reference number. And here we're using a pH of 7, so we're going to type in 7 and press enter. So here on the screen, you see slope and y-intercept. Write these down in your notebook, because if something happens during your experiment, you don't have to perform it all over again. You can input the slope and intercept in your calculator. Okay. So now we have calibrated when we press Enter. It's going to return us back to the menu, and we can now begin to collect data. Now you know how to calibrate a CBL pH probe.